What's up? My name is B with Prey for Snow Auto Detailing and welcome back to my awesome garage for another awesome detail. We have a 2001 Mustang, convertible Mustang, and it is here for an interior only. I actually just barely did another interior only. I don't do a ton of those. And they kind of bummed me out because I love exterior detailing, but regardless, this is a post-sale detail, and yesterday I did a pre-sale detail. So the customer purchased this, and it's kind of dirty. The carpets are definitely thrashed. It's a 2001, so it's old, and are the floor mats? Oh, sweet, there are floor mats, but the carpets are just thrashed. So we're gonna get the seats out. The top actually doesn't come down, unfortunately, otherwise we wouldn't have to hook up lights, but we'll get the seats out, hook up lights, and then we'll get to work. There was just one clip for the power controls. Another fun fact, the power controls on this Mustang seat are up here up front. I think that may be the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, it is for sure. Pretty cool though. Since only the front have the floor mats, we'll take those out. We'll get them cleaned really quick. Then we'll do here, this soda, coffee, something that's filled right here. I think I'm gonna have to warm up the steam cleaner as I do the carpets because that is the most efficient method and I think we need efficiency on this. We need, we need to go all out. No holds barred, as I like to say. Let's see if I can get it to do it again. When I set this down, it was, oh, not as bad. Dust just went kind of like pig pen off that one show. So I have foaming citrus carpet cleaner from Chemical Guys. I'll apply it, I'll agitate with my drill brush, and then I'm going to actually steam it to try and break up, especially some of this stuff, this nastiness. Right here, the carpet is completely gone, so hopefully we can lift these stains, but this is not a stain, this is just gone. It's sad. <laughs> it's a 2001, what, what can we expect? So. We'll do that. I think it's gonna extract really well. The angles are a little bit odd, but uh, I think it's gonna come out and there's not a ton of carpet, so it's a, it's a coupe. I'm sure you saw over there as I was extracting that spot where the carpet was gone kind of turned into a bleach spot. What it was is there must have been bleach on there at some time, took the color out of the actual carpet. And so when I cleaned it, the brown left and what was left was that bleached carpet. 
I noticed right here as well, and in a few other places, and you saw when I pulled up that seat and then vacuumed under that rear seat, there was a bunch of leaves. This looks sun faded, so did, well, there were leaves and stuff, and some other spots look a little sun faded. I wonder if the top was down. Obviously, I'm never gonna know. I'm just curious why everything looks the way it does. It's just, it's a mystery for sure. up this Mustang by cleaning these leather seats. Obviously this easy, rear seat came out really easy. So we'll use 3D APC detailing brushes and microfiber towel to wipe off. We're also going to use the steam cleaner a little bit just because these seats are old. I'm gonna be careful not to damage them. how drastic that change is. Gross, beautiful. Obviously, this is not what we want. This is. Leather looks amazing, especially from where it started, but now we need to protect it. I'm almost out, but we're gonna use Hydra Leather from Chemical Guys. Apply it, wipe it off. It's really easy application, and this has been a pretty solid leather protection product so far. I'll probably keep using it, we'll see. Make sure these plastics are not only clean, but beautiful and protected from harmful UV rays. I'm going to use CarPro Pearl. I've got microfiber towels to wipe off and level and an applicating pad, and of course, a detailing brush or microphone. To make sure the customer can see through these windows, even though it's only an interior detail, I'm going to use Street Free from the Chemical Guys. Obviously, a microfiber towel to wipe off and a mask. <laughs> this thing unsettles me. It creeps me out. I found it where the soft top stores and it's creepy. 
because I basically have no self-control, even though this is just an interior detail, I ended up polishing the windows, there's some hard water and stuff, and I want the customer to have an awesome driving experience. So, polished the front windscreen, now I'm sealing it with Griot's Garage's glass sealant. I would like to take some time to thank the customer. Thank you, epic customer, for letting me detail the interior of this Mustang. It was a ton of fun. Those brown carpets, the brown plastics, it cleaned out really well. There were some spots that just were uncleanable. They were just beyond repair, but this detail was awesome. I hope you enjoy the video and the results of the detail. Thank you. I'm gonna chill here because that emblem right there is a reason why I chuckled a few times during this detail. I pulled the customer's car into the garage and Monkey, my younger son, came out and pointed to that and he says, whoa, has horsepower. And that's true. The Mustang does have horsepower, which was, it was adorable. I have it on camera, but I'm sorry. Some things I'm just going to keep for myself. It was awesome, made my day, but Another video, subscribe, no wait, subscribe, another video, and please head on down and detail that like button, share this video, help me grow the channel. Have a great day, we'll see you on the next one.